Welcome to Math Winner. Calculate. Square root of 99 squared, then plus 199. How wonderful the question is. However, it is not easy to solve. Nearly, we hope that the thing under the square roots are always square numbers. Of course, this time as well. So what should we do? We should first evaluate the value under the square root. Under the square root. I'm very lazy. Four letters are enough. What should we do? Observation. 9,999 squared, we cannot do something on it. It is so boring. So now, we can do some changements on this number. 19,999. Maybe it can be written as 10,000 and then plus 9,999. So that's a good choice. So the number under the square root should be 9999 squared, and then plus 10,000, and then plus 9999. That's so amazing! And then, of course, here is 9999 squared, and here is 9999 as well. So it is 999 squared. We can write this guy in front of this boring guy. And then it's a turn to this number. This squared makes this number so huge. So what should we do? Of course, we can take out a 999 from these two sections. Na 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 nine and then times na 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 squared and then divided by na 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 nine it is nine na na nine and then plus na 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 nine divided by na 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 nine it is one and then plus ten thousand one zero 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 evaluate na 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 nine and then plus one we know that it is. One zero 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 zero. It is ten thousand, and here is ten thousand as well. Now ten thousand appears two times in our this term. So what should we do? Of course, we can take it out. In the bracket, it is nine 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 nine, and then plus one. Oh no! Then, what's the thing in the bracket? It is 10,000. <gasps> 10,000 times 10,000. That's the result under the square root. It can also be written as 10 to the power 4 and then squared. However, the answer is this time I'm easy as well. Answer two letters A S. Square root. And the square root of 10 to the power of 4 and then to the power of 2. You don't have to write this two, but they are actually the same. Maybe you can understand better. This squared, the square root, they can cancel out each other. So then, what's the final answer? 10 to the power of 4. Now stop, 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 stop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 steps. Are you lazy? 
If not, then use this method. I have another method. This is method one, M1, and this is the method two, M2. Now the thing under the square root. This guy. It can be written as this thing. One and a nine. It can be written as one nine 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 eight and then plus one. Why? Since I'm gonna write this term as the form a plus b all squared. So then it is equal to a squared plus 2ab and then plus b squared. a squared 9999 squared and b squared of course we choose the most simple number 1 and here is 1 squared. Of course, 1 is equal to 1 squared, isn't it? And we know that 9999 squared, and then plus 1 squared, and then plus 19,998. It is 2 times 9,999, and then times 1. It is exactly 2 times AB, where A is 999 and B is 1. So the answer is 9999 and then plus 1, all squared. And in the bracket, it is 10,000. So the answer is square root of 10,000 squared. Exactly. It is actually this. So the answer is 10,000 or 10 to the power 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 steps instead of 10 steps. Do you get it? And have you learned something new? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!